some national news now. Well, a day after Chandra Babu Naidu was forcibly shifted to the ICU of the NIMS hospital, national leaders of the NDA flew into Hyderabad to convince him to break his fast, and he agreed a short while ago. Naidu has been on the fast for eight days, pressing for compensation to rain hit farmers, and now the Telugu Desam is keen to keep up the pressure on the Congress. Earlier in the day, the AI ADMK Supremo Jay Lalita appealed to former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister to give up his fast, saying his life was far too precious to be sacrificed at the altar of cutthroat politics. Well, activist Dr. Binayak Sin has been found guilty of sedition for helping Maoists and has been sentenced to a life term. A Raipur court in Chhattisgarh has found him guilty of waging war against India. And civil liberties activists in Tamil Nadu have opposed the charges against Dr. Sen, who is an alumnus of the Madras Medical College in Velour. He was arrested in May 2007 from Balaspur. The Chhattisgarh police claimed that he was helping the Naxals to establish a network in urban areas. And the Maoist ideologue Narayan Sanyal has been declared guilty of sedition. Well, it's been a busy day for the CBI. After Raja, the CBI raided Mr. Kalmadi's homes in Delhi, Mumbai and Pune, his office and his farmhouse and the residence of his personal secretary, Manoj Bure. The CBI raid at Kalmadi's Delhi house continued for almost eight hours and at the end of it, the CBI sleuths allegedly seized Kalmadi's laptops, papers and hard disks. Kalmadi denied the documents are missing and after the CBI raided his homes, Kalmadi said, and I quote, I am innocent till proven guilty. And on some news uh, from the state, well, Karthik, the 25-year-old man who had escaped from the Pural prison a week back, only to be tracked down again by the police, has now been shifted to the high security block in the central prison. Originally reserved for the Al Umma members and people accused of terrorism, the block, which has just 100 cells, literally puts the convict in solitary confinement. Karthik will not be allowed to mingle with other inmates or meet family members. Well, it was a treat for the Christian community getting into the spirit of Christmas. Jayalalitha and Karunanindi in a single evening ahead of Christmas Eve were all but ready to dance to the jingles in different cities to get votes as Christmas gifts. It was fancy dress competition in Chennai on Thursday evening. The contenders were 86-year-old Karnanidhi versus 62-year-old Jalalitha playing Santa Claus. The Christmas Tata, as Karnanidhi was referred to at the Christmas festival in Adyar in Chennai, couldn't have made a more direct appeal to the Christian community ahead of the elections. He in fact says he is willing to dance to their tunes. Not belly dance, but Delhi dance. <laughs> the Lady Santa decided to travel south of Tamil Nadu. At Arimane in Kanyakumari, her promise to the Christians was as sweet as the cake she cut. Christopher Makai, Mayor Kulam, Punida Yatareke. Israel is seldom Punida Yatareke, Arasanga, whatever we say, you have entered, Kendra Kori Kaye Baita Nichaya Maha Bungal, Anaver in Adar Abodum, Unbodum, Maintum Kadaha Archi, Amaindal, in the Kori Kay, Wudanadiak and Revetri, Vaika Padum, and Bare the Revetri Poultry. It's now for you, the voter, to decide who in the disguise should get the prize. In Chennai with P. Mohammed Chandi Thomas for NDTV Hindu. Well, next up, catch the payas. He spills the beans on his idea of an ideal woman. 